Hi, I'm Dr. Lee Kang Ho, a lung and intensive care specialist at Glen Eagles Hospital. As we in Singapore have learned to live with COVID in our lives, which means it is now endemic, it is important to be alert and vigilant about COVID-19 and learn more about this condition to keep us safe. COVID-19 infection is a symptomatic or asymptomatic condition. The symptoms of COVID-19 affects the lung systems and therefore may present with cough, sore throat, fever, and even lack of smell. And in more severe cases, we call called shortness of breath. The non-respiratory symptoms may be body aches and even diarrhea. However, despite having COVID-19 infection, some patients remain asymptomatic. In some studies, even one-third of such patients do not have any symptoms. Interestingly, a small number of these patients, despite having pneumonia, which means lung infection, have no cough or even shortness of breath. And this is what we call silent pneumonia. Now we have a simple medical device called a pulse oximeter, which allows us to measure the oxygen level in our bloodstream. A low oxygen saturation level may signify silent pneumonia, where we have no symptoms of shortness of breath or cough. And this is a term we call happy hypoxemia. A pulse oximeter measures the oxygen level in your bloodstream, otherwise known as SpO2. It also measures your heart rate in beats per minute. A SpO2 reading of greater than 95% is in the normal range and indicates you are healthy. A reading between 90 to 94% tells us you should seek further medical advice. A reading below 90%, however, is a medical emergency and you should go to A&E as soon as possible. Some people without COVID-19 may also have low SpO2 readings due to chronic lung conditions and some chronic smokers may also have low SpO2 reading. For a more accurate SpO2 reading, it is important to keep your fingers warm, remove any nail varnish, keep your hand on a solid surface, apply the probe to the index or middle finger for at least one minute for a stable reading. If you have any questions about the SpO2 reading, please consult your own doctor for further medical advice. Stay prepared! Stay safe.